Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing well. If you are brand new to the channel, uh, like, subscribe, uh, share, tell a friend. Uh, all unbiased uh, commentary uh, about the stock market based on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, long side, short side, uh, wherever the technical prowess leads us, that's exactly where we try to take advantage and see uh, where we can uh, get the best performance uh, out of the tape. Um, listen, Phenomenal market move today. Uh, you yeah, have the, the highest close in the NASDAQ since April of 2022. Um, you have cooler than expected uh, inflation readings came in this morning on the CPI. You got another reading, I believe, tomorrow for the PPI. Obviously, you need two separate readings because so many things are drastically going to change from day to day. But, let, you know, it's here. It's here. It's part of our lives and the economic data is like, uh, you know, er everywhere in sight. So why not? Let's get another reading tomorrow. Uh, but what you saw today was a really aggressive move in a lot of names. Not everything, right? Not everything, but you're still getting a lot of really great moves. Uh, the speculation money has been flowing in pretty aggressively. And you have the names that were weaker the last few days finally waking up, right? We talked about Meta yesterday uh, waking up. Boy, oh boy, did it wake up. A uh, name like Amazon, they were coming all day, all day aggressively today for the 132 weeklies. We saw some 135s. We saw some 140s in August. Something we definitely want to keep an eye on for tomorrow, right? Because again, depending on the reading of the PPI, you could get another move uh, move to the upside. Uh, names like Tesla are not participating. We're trying to figure out why uh, everything gapped up today on the number. And as you can see by this red candle, again, for all you guys who are brand new to um, uh, Japanese candlesticks, when you have a red candle, that means the close was lower than the open. It's never a good thing considering how strong the market is. But hey, that could change on a dime. That's what's crazy uh, about the stock market. You know, as you can see here, Tesla got rejected off the top of the range here off the five-day moving average, which basically gives it a, a two-way scenario going for tomorrow. I was just uh, uh, texting a couple of guys. Um, you know, we, we could have a scenario that Tesla finally wakes up, reclaims the five-day moving average, and starts really, really going. Uh, I didn't really love uh, that the lack of option flow that I didn't see uh, in the name. Usually when you have a really strong market, you, you know, they would be coming in for the 285s, 290s. Again, there was one notable bet. And the reason why I say this uh, it's a pretty good segue to the next symbol. There was one pretty good bet last Friday, if you guys remember. A guy came in and you know, in the afternoon, he bet $1.6 million for this week's expiration for the 287.50 calls. Um, you know, when you see a big bet like that, is there a chance they run it up? There is a chance they run it up. And the reason why I bring that up is because in the video, right? And this is kind of where I want to focus uh, on today's video, okay? If you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, they start when the stock was, you know, around 420, 425, they started coming for the 440 weeklies, right? 440 weeklies for this week. Price action didn't move. As the stock started getting a little bit, you know, a little more steady, they started coming for the 450 weeklies, right? And that's where we kind of segue for today. Uh, right off the word go today, 440, 450 weeklies coming into today. A lot of size. Matter of fact, I believe, I believe I tweeted it out. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, here it is. I, I put this out here. L look at all the call buying that came in, especially for next week. We saw a whole slew of 450 calls coming in for this week, the 440s and 450s. But look at all the call buying. Look at the size. You know, this guy comes in for 300 grand, for nearly 600 grand, for 150 grand. This guy came in for the 600 calls, a half a million dollars for the 600 calls for January. And this dude came in for 278,000 for the August $500 calls. Here's the key, right? Here's the key. If NVIDIA can just get above this range for tomorrow, right? If they could just get above this range for tomorrow, you could see some really aggressive fireworks. And that's the name of the game. If they could just get above this Bollinger Band, 
with all that option flow pouring in, and again, we always talk about the options market, more chances than not, okay, are, is going to drive the underlying equity. So if NVIDIA starts getting above this Bollinger Band tomorrow, right, good things could happen here. So you know, this is definitely one to watch uh, for tomorrow. If there, is, uh, if there is a little bit of profit taking at the open, you have to use the rising support, man, because if you can get this thing on the rising support and they trap shorts right at the bottom of the range, and they get above the Bollinger Band, this thing could really, really take off. And we've seen this scenario uh, time and time again. So NVIDIA is definitely one to watch uh, for uh, tomorrow. Meta, again, another example of the, the option flow market. Again, we talked about two, three days ago that they were coming in for the 330, 340 weekly, uh, excuse me, 340, 340 uh, August, right? I think it was end of the uh, July, beginning of August, I mean, this thing finally cleared above uh, the 300 level, this strongest close by far, by far. And if you look at the weekly view on uh, Meta, right, you can see you have, a, you have a linear regression line around 316, 317. So again, just like NVIDIA that had a really aggressive, strong close with option flow, Meta is another name. You know, if, if we could get some, pro if we get some profit taken tomorrow at the open, you know, use that rising 60-minute support to try to get some stock. It's, in a weird way, Meta is a much easier stock to buy off rising support than it is going into strength. Going into strength, you know, there's a lot of hiccups, up, down, up, down, and it finally goes. But the point is, this is definitely a name that's strong. Uh, you have you have any type of weakness as a buying opportunity to rising 60-minute support. And the key is, if it starts reclaiming today's channel tomorrow, then we have a weekly view of roughly 316, uh, excuse me, yeah, 316, 317 uh, for potential measured potential. So we, you know, we're watching Tesla tomorrow on both sides of the market. We're watching, obviously, uh, Meta, NVIDIA, right? Letter U, uh, again, I came in with some letter U today. Everything gapped up. I sold the rest pre-market today. It just felt shy of the 52-week highs. Again, I want to watch it for the next couple of days uh, as well. Uh, you have a name, for example, uh, like First Solar. You know, watch First Solar. You have, you have, I love these channels when they're coming off the bottom. Okay, as you can see here, it reclaimed the 50-day moving average. If it could just get above this Bollinger Band, same thing kind of with that in the video. Maybe First Solar wakes up tomorrow. Uh, keep an eye on names. Let me give you guys a couple of names uh, before we get into today's pivots. Um, look at look at Amazon, right? Amazon, you know, as you can see for tomorrow. I have a whole list of beta, which basically means anytime I have a whole list of beta, which basically means Tesla, NVIDIA, you know, Netflix, you know, Meta, Apple, Microsoft. When you have a list like that, your focus list like that, there's a high probability of an expansion day. And that's exactly what we have on top tomorrow. Watch the, uh, watch Amazon. Again, the same thing, exactly the same thing for, uh, for NVIDIA as for solar. It just has to get above the Bollinger Band. If Amazon can just finally get above the Bollinger Band, it could start expanding as well. They were coming for the 32s, uh, for the 132s, 134s, and 140s uh, for next month. So something uh, definitely watch on that as well. And a name like uh, Marvel, right? Marvel, I wasn't able to trade today. We talked about Marvel last night in the video. It just gapped up and just kind of hit the Bollinger Band, right? You see the you see the recurring theme. This is why you know it's important for stocks to get above the Bollinger Band. As, as you can see here, it got hit with the Bollinger Band and it kind of faded lower. Again, same thing with Marvel. If Marvel can start reclaiming the upper Bollinger Band, then this thing could rock and roll as well. So we're definitely, definitely set up for tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to definitely try to use any type of weakness as a potential entry on these things. Because again, the key is if emotional shorts, late shorts get trapped on the rising 60-minute support, there's a good chance this thing goes green in a day and starts reclaiming uh, the next day's channel. So let's see, let's see what happens. We're, we're definitely, definitely set up for tomorrow. The only one that I'm watching on both sides is Tesla just because, well, it's got rejected off the bottom, the top of the range here, but it held the, the bottom of the range here. So something has to give eventually here. So I'm either watching the reclaim of the five day or for to lose the 10 day moving average. But again, with Tesla, you know you know how Tesla trades. At, at any moment that looks weak, you can turn, turn around and take out the top of the range. And just when you think it's strong, like it looked like it was going to be strong this morning, it just turns around and has a lower close uh, than the gap up open. So we'll see. We're definitely, definitely set up for tomorrow for a potential premium day. The key is don't guess, don't anticipate, don't try to outsmart the market. Let these levels confirm, right? You got plenty of time to get into these channels. 
but it's crucial. It's crucial that they reclaim supply and they go through supply with extreme prejudice. So let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, let's talk about today's day and we will start with Rivian. So I was a little, you know, I, I, I didn't talk about Rivian on purpose for the last couple of days, but I've been watching this thing for a potential back test, right? So what that basically means it was the same type of trade as Tesla. If you guys remember, Tesla had this big, big run up. I was waiting for the bot, you know, for it to lose a previous day's range. So Rivian lost the previous day's range. I shorted it. It only went down like 30 cents. That's it. This is how strong the stock is. It went only down 30 cents. I took a cup of coffee profit and I used break even as a stop. And as you can see, the stock just uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely just coiled up and just started going higher. Again, there will be a significant trade on the stock. Uh, I will be watching, especially this bottom channel here in the next uh, two, three, maybe four days, maybe two, three, four weeks, the way this stock is strong. But at least now we have a the really good direct point of reference and you can see the bottom two channels here uh, for the future. Not for tomorrow, not for the next, you know, the next couple of days, but for the future. Uh, now I'm at least uh, very, very confident about this bottom range here that has stopped twice uh, now in the last three sessions. So we'll definitely watch that uh, as well. Tesla, we're watching, never confirmed. Letter U, uh, after I sold my runner, up to and change, never confirmed. Uh, TTD, nice little move, nothing big. Uh, TTD, 84. Uh, we talked about TTD last night in the video. Uh, 84 needs to reclaim the pre-market highs. You know, stock traded to 85, but more or less, it was up like 50 cents the majority of the day. Uh, NVIDIA, yeah, so NVIDIA, NVIDIA, and as you can see, NVIDIA and Meta, these, these are the two big out-of-control runners. Uh, so NVIDIA, 3214 needs to build. Uh, NVIDIA, here it is, 3214 needs to build to confirm this little channel here. This is the highest close in this whole formation, guys. I'm telling you, all it needs to do is get through this upper Bollinger man, and this thing will absolutely explode. So big, big rock star here for the day. Then you have Meta, 30327 needs to confirm. Uh, here is Meta. Again, same, same thing as NVIDIA. Finally, and as you can see here, finally got through the Bollinger Band today and closed at the highs in the 309s. Really, really strong uh, looking chart there as well. And I believe that is it, right? I believe that is it. Uh, there was some balance plays, this, that, and the third. But ultimately, you know, with NVIDIA, Meta, Rivian, um, you know, some of the overnights. I also, so I also sold... Uh, I also sold um, more RBLX on uh, on the gap of on the bet on the gap of a dollar sixty or so, and then the rest I got stopped out break even. My last little little piece, but again, no no really regrets. So the key metric for tomorrow is if we can get a light volume sell off, at least profit taking at the open, then we could have a really really strong potential day. If the, everything starts gapping up because of the PPI, then hell, we have opening ranges uh, as well. But keep in mind, guys. 450 weeklies coming in, 450 for next week's coming in on NVIDIA. If this damn thing confirms, well, it could be pretty, pretty, pretty good. Guys, God bless. Keep in mind, tomorrow is no video. It's my regular uh, Thursday night off. If you are joining us uh, in the webinar, welcome. And if you're not, we will see you on uh, the weekend video. Guys, have a great, great Thursday. Uh, may God continue to bless you with health and happiness. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.